This is example 27 in the differentiation topic, and we're going to have a look at a different type of differentiation, a, a technique we can use in a couple of different situations. It's called logarithmic differentiation, which sounds as though we're going to be differentiating uh, logarithmic terms, but in actual fact, we, we use this method in order to actually differentiate uh, terms that have powers in them. In other words, we're going to introduce log terms in order to help us simplify the process. So logarithms is the technique we're going to use to simplify the, the problem, not that we're going to log, differentiate log terms. So the idea is that one of two situations will happen. Uh, in this example here, we're differentiating a, a, a function that has, it's an exponential function, but the, the variable, the x term, is part of that exponent. Now, at the moment, we don't have a technique uh, by which to differentiate that. And this is where our uh, log uh, functions come in. So we know from, hopefully, from previous work that if we had um, an expression like y equals 2 to the power x, if we take the log of both sides, it becomes log of y equals the log of 2 to the power x. And the key rule which we're going to use in this whole process is the fact that we have a log rule which says that the log of 2 to the power x can be rewritten with the x as a multiplier rather than a power. So we could rearrange that so that it becomes that expression there. And we've removed the exponent and we now have uh, terms that are multiplying to get a product of terms. And that's basically the principle that we're going to use for logarithmic differentiation. So example 27, y equals 2 to the power sine x. If we take the log of both of those terms, we get log y equals the log of 2 to the power sine x. And using that technique that I've just demonstrated the power which at this point is sine x, becomes the multiplier, sine x multiplied by the natural log of 2. So far, so good. We now have a product of terms and not uh, uh, an exponential function, so we can continue our differentiation from here. Now, we don't have y equals a function in x. We have a function of y. And so we can use our implicit differentiation technique in order to progress to this. So we can say we want to differentiate with respect to x, both sides. Oh, it becomes the derivative of log y equals the derivative of sine x times the log of 2. Implicit differentiation um, isn't just um, when you can't rearrange it in terms of y equals a function in x. It's for any situation where uh, there's uh, functions going on on both sides and you want to uh, not have to worry about rearranging it. So here we go. We've, different, we've stated we're going to differentiate in terms of x. Therefore, from on the left-hand side, we've got log y. We can differentiate in terms of y as long as we multiply by dy by dx. That's our implicit differentiation technique. On the right-hand side, Notice here, although we have two functions, we've got a sine function and a, a log function, effectively log 2 is just a constant term. If it were log x, we would have a product of terms which we would have to use uh, the, the product rule. But this is just a number. So if we differentiate 3 sine x, it becomes 3 cos x. Therefore, our derivative is just one term on the right-hand side. It's cos x multiplied by the log 2 or log 2 cos x. Um, as always in implicit differentiation, we want to rearrange in terms of dy by dx, which means we multiply through by y. And we could, it doesn't matter which way the log 2 is. But originally, the y function was um, 2 to the power sine x. So we substitute in our last line here that it's 2 to the power sine x multiplied by uh, 
plus x times the log of 2, something like that. And that's our first example of how to use the logarithms to help us differentiate functions with exponents of powers there. Okay, there's a couple of other examples, uh, but for now, that's the answer to the first one.